Hello, and welcome back to another day of Mystery Island's Random Videos. Today, we're back in the kitchen for a request video. So, my wife has put together four ingredients that I don't know, and I am going to try to make a dish in 30 minutes, just like on Chopped. It's either going to be good or really bad. Hopefully, I don't get Chopped. Okay, so... Here are my mystery ingredients. I have, oh my god, peanut butter. <laughs> I have frozen blueberries. <laughs> Ballpark Franks, at least they're beef. And then, oh, shout out Mr. Clement. Thanks for putting this in my household. I don't even know what this is. It's like, from South Korea, it's got Korean lettering. It says mala on the on the side, on the package here. It's clearly like spicy. I'm probably gonna burn my taste buds right off. Um, so I, I hot chicken flavor. I'm a little stressed. So I guess um, here we go. Hey Google, set 30 minute timer. Wish me luck. Okay, here we go. Okay, so for the blueberries, I'm gonna try to compote them, which means basically make a sugary blueberry sauce. This is, this is a long shot. We're gonna do a really crazy thing here. It's a long shot. Um, I have the use of my pantry, so um, we're gonna add a little sugar in there. Um, oh my god, I don't even know. No, that might be too sugary there. So we add a little water in there. So we'll compote those. I might add a little too much water. Okay. So we're going to dice an onion. I'm going to add an onion. This is a sweet Vidalia onion here. So we're going to take... This is a good lesson, people. How to dice an onion, right? So many people make so much work out of dicing an onion, and it needs to be so simple. So what you do is you take the onion, you cut off the end that's not the end with the hairs on it. Then you actually... Um, uh, then you cut it in half, but in half where the hairs are, like this, and then you peel it to the layer, like this, and then what you do is you make some small slices like this. It's going to give you consistent sizing. It's a lot quicker and a lot easier. Some people, watching people cut onions, so then you, this is the dangerous part, you got to be a little careful, you cut towards you. So then you're gonna cut even slices of onion like this. Look at that. I can cut onion all day. Okay, so we're gonna throw a half an onion into the mala whenever that is, I guess, ready. Um, I'm getting a little bit of blueberry boiling, which is, is a good thing, that's what I want. So we're just gonna take, we're gonna keep stirring it. We wanna really compote those down um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to combat the heat that I'm assuming that's going to be in this hot chicken flavor ramen that has Korean lettering on it. I'm going to try to combat that with sweet. Um, so, and maybe a little bit of savory with the peanut butter. So, we'll see. Okay, so I got the compote here. The blueberry compote is going crazy. So I'm going to turn that on low and we're going to keep that on a strong simmer. We're going to stir it every once in a while. We'll see how this turns out. This is a good challenge. Really interesting challenge. A lot of different components. Okay, so we're going to make our noodles now. we got boiling water here. So i got to take and i got to boil these noodles in. It says on the package for five minutes. So we're going to take, we're going to put those in there. Um, yeah, it says put into boiling water, cook for five minutes. 
Okay, there we go. Five minutes. Please remove the water from the Okay, we'll get to that in a second after five minutes. Um, we'll see how that goes. I gotta taste my blueberry compote and see how that's made. It's very thin. I might have to add something to thicken it up. It's not bad. It's not bad. It might need a little cornstarch to get thick. I have to pour these flakes in here as well that look like straight up red. Oh my god. Bro, oh, that's gonna be hot. Okay, so this is gonna be a liquid sauce that we're gonna put in there um, at the end. I'm very nervous about the liquid sauce. I'm thinking that's probably terrifyingly hot. Um, this blueberry compote is really sweet, but it's like what I need to combat that. I take a little olive oil so it don't stick to the pan, just a touch. And we are going to cook these up. Two hot dogs. Look at those slicing skills. All right, so here's what we got going. We have the onions really frying up nice. Our timer just went off. Okay, so it says, please remove the water from the noodles. Remain eight spoons of water. I don't know what that means. So, here we go. Um, we're gonna pour some of it off. I'm not going to pour all of it off though, I'm going to need some of it because I'm going to need some of that starchy water to hold because I'm kind of excited about the peanut butter idea here. Uh, so pretty soupy. I would say that right there looks to be about eight spoons. Alright, so here we go. Safety people. Burn that off. Okay, so here's the the packet that has all Korean lettering on it. God, this looks terrifying. I'm gonna need a scissors. Okay, here goes the oh god. This is some mystery liquid here. Um <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh my god! It tastes like fires. It's like burning my throat. Why do I keep eating it? Oh my god. Okay, so the plan. Oh my god, it's horrible. The plan is we're gonna take, we're gonna throw these onions in there as well because we need a lot of sweet people. Oh my god, that heat is nasty. I'm gonna put those onions in there. We're gonna mix those in. So we're gonna mix it all in. Um, oh my god, my my I think my insides are burning. I don't even wanna eat that. I don't wanna even eat it. So we made the malo ramen, the hot chicken ramen. Here it is. I did add some onions. The onions were intended to add a little sweetness. Okay, so after literally being terrified for the last few minutes of eating this hot chicken ramen mess from South Korea, I'm gonna dip in. I've gotta try it. God, it's hot. I think I'm sweating, uh, and I don't really know why. Oh, it just like doesn't go away. My whole mouth, like from here, I like I can't. My numb. I'm so numb. That's gonna need some work. It's gonna need a lot of work. But the onion tastes good. The onion tastes good. So I guess there's a silver lining. Ah, good old fashioned peanut butter. Mm, so the mm. Okay, so we'll start with a small spoonful. We don't want to go overboard because the judge, I know her, she's pretty picky. 
We want to make sure that she is satisfied, that she can taste the heat, the sweet, the savory. Ooh, I gotta say that peanut butter is binding up pretty nice. It's really making it a nice soup-like consistency, which is what we're looking for. But, um, really want to get all the peanut butter in there. It's got to be able to calm that heat. I gotta calm that heat. That heat is... We're gonna add that in. An extra layer of flavor. Extra layer of flavor. Okay, still waiting on the hot dog. We don't wanna get it too bad. Okay, here we go. This is more for, you know, a little bit of flavor, but also a presentation aspect at the end. Here we go. Oh, this is getting thick. This is getting thick. I'm liking that. Let's taste that. Let's taste that, huh? You're gonna make me use hot dogs, people. We're gonna do it in a creative fashion. I love hot dogs, don't get me wrong. But this is chopped. This is Mr. Hellman's first attempt at being on chopped. So I'm gonna stir this in, stir, stir, stir. Okay, now we need to bring those hot dogs up to temperature. So there we go. This is like a very sweet blueberry barbecue sauce, almost. Okay, so we're going to taste those hot dogs. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they're going to turn out great. We're going to see. This is either the make or break. I know that that, the mala ramen from North South Korea, sorry, is spectacular. I'm set on that. But these, I'm happy with it. I don't know how it's gonna taste together with a meshing, cause let's say, you know, not everything tastes like peanut butter and jelly. But this might, this might be really good. Okay, I'm down to four minutes. Should probably start plating. Half an hour ago was so fast. You're having fun here. Okay, so here we go. Oh god. I'm gonna tell you something. This mala thing, hot chicken ramen. Was that terrible? I think I saved it. Somebody put me on Food Network. My God. All right, here we go. Um, okay, so the presentation is important in all recipes that you make. So, what we're going to do Real careful, right down the middle. Kind of looks like beet juice. Have you ever watched The Office? Which bear is best? <laughs> yeah, I love the white. He's great. Oh my god, I'm under a minute. I'm under a minute, a little frazzled. Yeah. Really address these plates. The judge is picky. I know she's picky. So I want to make sure that these plates are good looking all the way around. She'll definitely deduct points if they're not. Okay. 
So here we go. We don't want to make these look like a like a mistake. You know, we gotta really make them look good. We're gonna put those right over the hot dogs in both plates. Two, one. Stop. I did it. I did it. Here's what we have. We have chicken mala ramen. Not sure what that even means. I can tell you it was scorching hot. Um, we have a blueberry compote with hot dogs in it. Uh, and we served the peanut butter into the hot chicken ramen. Um, it's just a matter of, of tasting it and we'll see how it is and, and what the judge thinks. Okay, here is our overly tough judge, Alicia Allen. So Alicia, let's start with presentation. What would you rate the presentation of this mess? Hmm. Well, I mean, the fact that you called it a mess, I'm not so sure about. <laughs> It's got some good color though. Mm -hmm. Some nice green onions on top. Mm -hmm. Very well organized within the bowl. The bowl is clean. I think I'd give it an eight. An eight out an of eight. A ten. Wow. All right. Okay. Okay. So let's ask you to taste each individual component first. So taste the noodles, then the hot dogs, and then we'll taste. Then we'll ask you to taste them all together. I'm scared. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> I'm going to start with the hot dog. All right. I thought that was a pretty genius idea. It's, it, you're right. It's a little beet-like in color. <laughs> Bears, beets, Battlestar Galactica. I don't know how with the blueberries, because they're more purple, but you achieve something there. <laughs> Oh, is it bad? Into the hot dog. Is it bad? No. Oh, all right. Good? Not bad. Okay, all right. Not bad. How about the noodles? I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm actually scared. <laughs> <laughs> I take a small bite? Yeah. I would advise you to. Oh no, I didn't add enough peanut butter. <laughs> no, I get peanut butter. It's just right in the back of my throat there. There's some good <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how about trying them together? Try it all together, like a dish, like it's supposed to be. Get a little noodle, some green onion, some hot dog with blueberry compote. <laughs> I thought I'd be saying that in my lifetime. <laughs> that is surprisingly delicious. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I think the blueberry and the sugar counteracted the noodle. <laughs> yeah! Okay, so what are you rating it out of 10? I think overall, I'd give you an 8. An 8? 8 and a half. I'll take an 8 and a half. So have I been chopped? Absolutely not. Yes! <laughs> Here's Chef Adam signing off. Until tomorrow, with a pretty delicious dish that who knew would work. Well, stay awesome, stay healthy, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.